Commanding the color guard is Cadet Sergeant Ian Moreno, carrying the United States flag. Cadet Private First Class are carrying the Texas flag and the Italian colors. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Devante Hall as the right guard. Channel 4. Cadet First Sergeant Joel Ramirez as the left guard. Commanding the flag detail at the south side of the stadium is Cadet First Lieutenant Angelo Corona. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please remove all headgear. Put your right hand over your heart as we honor America with the singing of the national anthem. The national anthem will be sung by the Edinburgh North High School Golden Blues Chorus and is under the direction of Linda Hernandez and Claudio Esquivel. That is KATS Channel 17 and the streaming done, of course, by ValleyCentral.com. Special thanks going out to them. It's going to be Joe Bowling to my right. And on the field, we're going to have Paul Osbury and Aaron Sines joining us for the first time here in Edinburgh. Aaron, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we have a good time. And let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it's two undefeated teams. And uh, talking to the coaches, uh, it should be a good one. And uh, we talked to Coach Garza at the beginning, and he said uh, he was going to go with his best team on the field, and that's his defense. They, they got the flip. They deferred. Joe, what do you got? Well, I talked to you about this team before the game was even started this year, the preseason. That was the team to beat, and as they get ready to get onto this football field here, we've got Paul Osbury on the sideline. He's got the head coach with him. We'll get a quick word right now from Paul Osbury sideline. Thanks, guys. i got Coach Roy Garza. i got Coach Roy Garza, head coach, Edmund North Cougars. Coach Garza, you had a good one tonight. How have you prepared your boys for a battle? What's the attitude of your boys tonight? Uh, they're just looking forward to this type of game. We have a challenge. Uh, get the program recognized where it's supposed to be. We want to be in the same, same sentence as Sherry and them. And uh, it's a big step for us. I appreciate it, Coach. Thank you for taking time. And good luck to you, Roy. Back to you guys. Again, that was Paul Osbury down on the field. And of course, like I told you before, it's going to be Aaron Sines also joining us as Joe Bowen is going to do the play-by-play. -play -play. I'm Don Salinas. We should have a good time tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking to Joe and about the, about the weather, Joe. Uh, it seems to... A report we're going to be all right well I, I would say it's a coin flip anytime a weatherman tells me it's going to be okay and <laughs> the storms predicted earlier I, i'm not going to buy that all the way again that's a uh, that's not my perfection though is well, I, I stay in the sports department now weather looks good right now let's go with that real yeah, quick I, again i want to touch base with aaron signs on the sideline aaron going to be bringing us uh his view aaron real quick your thoughts best defense against the best offense in this district coming up well definitely this is going to be a in the season and uh they come up they pride themselves on their defense, and so they're going to try to sneak into Sherryland earlier. Before the oh, and so they're going to try to get some turnovers against the Rattlers tonight. Once again, that's Aaron Sign, Joe Bolick, Donut Salinas, and where you're getting set, buddy. Yep, we're getting set here, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it's going to be the Cougars against Sherryland here in Edinburgh, both teams with an 8-0 and record, and somebody's going to go down. We'll wait and see what's going to happen there. But, uh, the game will be starting off with the Cougars kicking off to the Sherryland Rattlers. As Coach Costa said, he wants his best team on the field, and that's the defense. So it's going to be the Cougars playing defense for the, on their first uh, the first position. It'll go, of course, to Sherryland. It'll be the Cougars. 
Cougar, the Cougars kicking from the north side to the south side, and it'll be the Sherryland Rattlers traveling from the south to the north. Joe, take it away, Joe. Well, away we go as, again, it's going to be this offense of the Rattlers taking the opening kickoff. Welcome to the broadcast. Short kick to the 25-yard line. They'll try to go left to right on the field, set up a wall there, but it's nothing doing. Wrapped up, taken down. Big play already by that defense on the kick return. And, again, it could have been a lot better play field there uh, for the uh, – Field position for the Sherry Lamb, but a good play by the by the special teams there by the Cougars, and it brought him down at about the 26-yard line. It could have been worse if he gets through that player. He had a lot of room to go with a few blockers, but a uh, good play by the special teams on the Cougars' side. So it's going to be first and 10 for Sherry Lamb, first position. They're going to be starting at their own 25-yard line. Alex Davila was a tackler on that kick uh, coverage team. First down play, quarterback for the Rattler stands back in a shotgun formation, swings a pass out over the middle, incompleted pass, second and 10 coming up. And, and Joe, we talked to this coach, uh, coach size and on the defensive side, he, he, I mean, he kind of just tells the team, pass on us, please throw the ball on us. He likes playing a uh, pass defense, and that's what he thinks he's strong at. Well, he's going to force him to pass the ball, which a lot of coaches would say, what, are you crazy? He wants to do that, though. Shotgun formation. They'll run it up the middle with some room across the 30 to 34-yard line on a nice carry that time by the Rattlers, and that's going to be Michael Gonzalez, the senior, with a big run. All right, here we go. It's going to be 30 short like Kevin Nato called it. Very manageable. That's an eight-yard call and a nine-yard game. Third and one for the Rattlers. Quick snap, quick pass, right side, caught. First down, on across the 40-yard line. Chains are going to move. Boys, go ahead and say it one time. Here we go, Kevin. Pablo, one more time. Move, move those, those chains. chains. That's the chant that got the shirts going. I got my shirt tonight, and folks will tell you more about that on the fly. Rattlers with a first down after the completed pass, and it's going to be first down for their own 41-yard line. Quick snap, handoff, running play, left tackle, and not much there. The Cougar defense right there, and don't at all long this season they've been tough against the run yeah and i mean that's what kept them in you know it took a while before somebody got some points on them i think it was the bobcats for the first time their defense is the strong point of this team that you called it last year joe no we'll huddle offense for the rattlers on second down and nine quick swing pass by chrysler right side set it up there receiver squeak the cougars are there to stop that after a short game maybe a fumble on the play no indication just yet let's look down the sideline paul osbury what do you see no he was on the ground boys he just knees hit the ground he took a, a serious hit uh, took a serious lick from, I'm not sure it was linebacker, but his knees were down, boys. And that's Paul Osbury, Donut Salinas to my left side. Aaron Signs on the north end zone here at Edinburgh Cat Stadium on a Thursday night. 10.37 to go. Two backs this time in for protection on third and long for the Rattlers. Snap back, Chrysler hit, gets away from one man, stumbles forward on his feet. Now he's going to run right side and get a first down and more. Down the sideline, got a block, stays in bounds, 30, 20, and more. Look at this, Diego Chrysler, there is a penalty we, flag on the play, Donut. We got a flag, and it's probably going to come back, Joe. Let me tell you what, Joe, this is just to show you how, how, how hard these kids are going to play tonight. Everybody went like with a big ooh when he got hit. It ain't nothing. He spun around and went all the way down to the end zone, but there's a flag on the field at about the 46-yard line on the Cougar side of the field. Let's see what Aaron Sines saw down there pretty much right in front of that play, sir. I got it, boys. I'm telling you, it's a crackback block. You cannot, uh, an offensive player cannot come from the outside uh, and crack black or, or cut, try to cut block a defensive player that's coming from the inside, and that's what happened, boys. All right, it's going to bring it back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be still a third down play. We're going to wait and see whether they're going to step it back from the spot of the foul there, Joe. So it's going to be at about the 46. They'll bring them back to 15, I believe. We'll wait and see uh, what they're going to do here. And it's going to, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to be third down. But right there, take six points off the board quickly. The big break, first break, goes to the Cougars. Exactly. It's going to be basically replay it from the down where it was at. Still third down, still long yardage to go for the Rattlers. But, yeah, they took six points off the board. But the fear factor is that now they know Diego Chrysler can perhaps take his your best hit from a defender coming in, stay on his feet, and turn it into what could have been six points. Exactly, Joe. And we, and we talked about it, right? Maybe now you see why the, uh, Coach Simon would rather defend against the, uh, the, the the run instead of the pass because uh, they've been running good on him. They've run two, three plays and two two and one for good yardage. Well, Sarah Lynn Rattlers all season long has opened up the passing game and they've also utilized the run game and effectively they march off five more yards. So it's third down and about 13 and a half yards to go. Chrysler looks to throw. Penalty flag on the play. Fires it deep down the side. It's up for grabs and it's going to be incomplete. Defender turned into an offensive better chance to catch that ball. The 
receiver turned into the defender right there. Yeah, Joe, and you see pretty good size on number 16 there on the Sherry Land side, and it seems to me like he's going to be a little taller than all our defenders. We'll wait and see, but uh, that, they might be just throwing the ball up and grabs. We'll wait and see. Here comes the flag. It's a crack back block. Same it thing, boys. Same thing before. Incompleted pass, so it's going to bring up fourth down as the Cougars defense gets the stop. And, uh, you know, as we talk to Paul Osbury on the sideline, we're going to find out, did the Cougars do anything differently that you could see from what they've done this season already against this type of offense? Yes, sir. Their alignment is quite different. If you look at their outside their, their outside linebackers or the defensive end, they're very wide. They have a very wide set, and they're crashing them inward. It's very unusual. I'm, I'm sure it's because the coaches are relying on their athleticism. But their defensive end line up very wide, boys. Hunting time for the Rattlers, and that's not been said very often on this season as they are set up here after their first set of downs comes up with nothing on the scoreboard. Cougars send two men back to return the kick, and it's a high spiraling kick. Middle of the field, fielded inside the 25. They'll bring it up to the 25 and more. Across to the 29-yard line. They won't get the 30 on a huge hit delivered there by Alberto Pedraza. As Paul calls it there, Joe, let me tell you what is Buenas noches, como se está? And he, I mean, he greeted him with a nice tackle, didn't he there, Paul? Oh, he said he introduced himself. Hey, hey, como estas? How you doing? Welcome to the game, my friends. Again, Aaron signs on our north end zone. We're going to get a microphone check on him, and we'll get him back in the mix very shortly. Paul is stationed down in the south end zone. That's where the Cougars are marching towards. First time their offense comes on the field, and this is perhaps a, a bigger team under the mic magnifying glass than was the defense that already got the stop. Alex Guerrero, the quarterback, out of a shotgun formation, keeps a single back in the backfield on first down, hands it off. No fakes the handoff. Swing pass right side. A little room, but quickly shut down by the Rattlers in the open field. Yeah, pick up only about two yards. It'll be second and eight coming up for the Cougars. And Joe, talking, you know, mentioning the, the, the these Cougars players, let me tell you what, I mean, uh, my daughter's at that school and some, a lot of kids that I know are at that school. Let me tell you what, the whole student body's fired up. The parents with the prep rally, so I mean, the Cougars are really high on this season. Michael Cotton, too, caught that pass. They had a huge pep rally early on. I was trying to get there. I was covering some other teams, though, getting set for action. I'll talk about that later on. Shotgun formation once again for Guerrero and the Cougars on second and nine for their own 30 yard line. Scoreless ball game, 9 15 to go first quarter. Whiteside's first touch of the night. He'll carry it forward, but he'll go nowhere as the Rattler defense stops him right there. So it's going to be maybe another yard. It will be third and seven. Kind of blue shot. I'm going out to Mr. Granado. Is he Kelly Granado? Uh, let me tell you what. It's like a dad to me, Joe, when I was growing up. So a little shot. I'm going out to him. He said, he I heard it from his daughter. Tell him I want a shirt. So he got his shirt. And Mr. Granado, enjoy the shirt. Enjoy the game. And he is the father of Robert Granado, one of the coaches for the Cougar side. I got my shirt tonight. So did my wife, Dahlia. We are going to be sporting those <laughs> at uh, some events near you. And fans will tell the story on these shirts. And a sponsor that jumped in to help these guys out, too. Third and long though for the Cougars here on their first touch on the offense. Passing play. Guerrero swings it right side. Incompleted pass. Got a little pressure up the middle. May have rushed that pass. Joe, on that pressure, is that number 16? Is he going both ways the whole game? I saw him like going on and he kind of rushed the pass. He had plenty of time to get rid of it, but when you see a guy that size coming at you, I don't blame Guerrero for getting rid of the ball. So it's going to be a fourth down and eight, and uh, Cougars go three and out. Sherryland moved the ball a little further than them, and uh, but they ended up punting two. It's going to be one possession each, and now it's going to be fourth and eight for the Cougars, and they're kicking off. So their Putting defense off. got the stop, but now the Cougar offense couldn't get anything generated. They're going to hand the ball back to the offense of the Sherryland Rattlers. They punt the ball away from the return man, takes a bounce, so he's going to field it at the 29-yard uh, line. Again, trying to get to the middle of the field at 30. Headline, close line there at the 34. Paul, what'd you see right there, my friend? I don't even think number 15 saw him, boy. I don't know. He didn't see him coming, but I'll tell you what, he had no idea that guy stuck up on him. He has a great tackle. Justin Harris, that time on the return donut, he felt the pressure of that. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see how, ba how bad these kids want this game, and that's a big question you always have. Who's going to want it more, Joe? Let me tell you what, right now it's a toss-up to who's going to want it more. Right now your defense got the stop, though, donut. If you're on Edinburgh North, you wanted that offense to get a couple of first downs. Right now you're staring right back at this potent offense on the field. You sure are, Joe. You don't want to see that all night long because that defense will get tired. Rattlers with a no huddle, five receivers set on first and ten from their own 34-yard line. 8.20 to go, first quarter. Pass play, Chrysler over the middle. Caught across the 35, quickly covered. That's a short gain. Nice coverage by the Cougars defense. Against defense, likes to play that, that uh, pass coverage, and you saw it there. Pick up two, pick up about three yards, call it a second and seven up coming up for Sherland. 
I see Lance Madden in the ball game for the Sherryland Rattlers, and that's a story right there because now suddenly they have the two options at quarterback. Donald will get to that after this snap. Pass play. No, they'll run it. Quarterback keeper. Chrysler sidesteps a man, gets to the 40-yard line, thrown back. How about that? Lance Madden in the mix for the Rattlers. Big, suddenly another weapon. Right. Pick up a four yards, and it looks pretty smooth on that run. If you're going to get four yards on every play, like any coach says, they'll take it anytime. So it's going to bring up a third and call it four yards coming up, Joe. On third and four for the Rattlers with 7.32 to go in the first quarter. Neither team has scored. Edinburgh North, Sherryland Rattlers, undefeated teams taking on a Thursday night, week nine of the football season. Swing pass, left side, caught by Martinez. Makes a nice move, got a block, but there comes the coverage. Defense oh, stops him, fumble oh, oh, on the play, oh, no, they'll call it down. Stop calling him down, he'll be about a yard and a half short. And then a penalty There's a penalty down. flag, and again, these, you need to be careful there because that's going to hurt one of the teams. Uh, Sherry Land will go back 15 yards, of course, but if it's against the Cougars, it's going to give an automatic first down. Well, Pablo! You had a good view down there, and what do you got on your chalkboard for us, my friend? We'll get the camera right there. Here we go. We're going to Paul. Hey, boys, I just wanted to explain what happened to the folks out there, what happened on those two penalties that, that took back the touchdown from the, for the uh, for, uh, Sherry Land. A player cannot, this is called the box, a player cannot come from outside and cut block a player inside the box. He cannot come this way. That's an illegal cut block. That's an illegal cut block. He cannot come in. For a player that's going out, you cannot come in and cut block them. That's called a box. You cannot come in and cut block a player there. That's what happened twice in a row. That stopped their drive, boys. And so it stopped them. Also, the defense. Now, the personal foul against the Sherryland Rattlers. It happened after the third down carry. So that means it was going to be fourth down. They're going to march it back. And uh, they may give up another third down. But still, yeah, Donna Salinas. It's, it's going to be after, after the play. play. So, so, yeah, it's fourth also down. down. So we got a fourth down coming up, Joe. And it's going to be fourth and 16 coming up. They're back at their own. 27-yard line once again. Sherryland touches the ball for the second time, and they'll be punting for the second time, Joe. Something we're not used to seeing like you called earlier. Fans, we had a bunch of people tuned in to start this broadcast. Wherever you are, send us a shout-out here on <laughs> ValleyCentral.com. Where you're from, we'll try to get a shout right back to you. Michael Cantu stands back. Cougars should get a good exchange here on field possession. High spiraling punt, a nice job at the 35-yard line. They'll field it, but nothing doing. The return man, Alex Chavez, got nowhere. Special teams have been playing good big time this early in the night, Joe, so that's something you're going to need because they might take a big play from either the special team to turn this game around. Let's see if we got Aaron Sines back in the mix now. Aaron, you're down there with the Cougars. What are you feeling there on the sideline? Well, I tell you what, they're trying to get the offense going. I heard the quarterback coach talking about reading the safety for the snap. So they want to read that safety, try to get him off of his game because uh, Sherryland's coming hard with that safety and uh, putting a lot of heat on that quarterback. Their offense on the field for a second time. Again, that's Aaron Sines. We'll hear a lot from him tomorrow night at the Bird Bowl here on ValleyCentral.com. First down play. Running play, white sides. Left tackle, nothing there again. This Rattler team shutting down the run. A little shout out quickly, Joe. Happy birthday to Omar Melendez from your wife, Eileen, and your boys. They love you very much. A little shout out and happy birthday going out to Omar Melendez, Ashley Marie Ramos. Also, she got family in Las Vegas, California, Washington, Austin, and Eagle Pass. All listening in and watching the game here tonight on a Thursday night. Second down play for the Cougars, trying to get something going. Rattler showing a blitz from the left side. They'll see the man in motion over on that side. Again, a shotgun for the Cougars. Hand off to white side, running play right side. Makes a nice move out across the 35, 37 yard line. Third and about four coming up. Again, the Rattler defense doing a job on a guy that's had a lot of success running the football. All right. Also, Joe, a little shout out going out to all the people in Catula. We got a lot of people in Catula, of course, with the oil field business going up over there. A little shout out going out to Randy Ramirez, ex Cougar quarterback, and also his co worker Ruben. Enjoy the game, guys. I want to send a shout out also to Kevin Naro, who's trying to keep track of this ball game and announce one tonight down at Brownsville. I know his heart is here rooting for the Cougars. Shotgun formation. Quick snap, handoff right side, barrels forward. He's going to be short of first down yardage. Once again, three running plays, three and out, punting time Cougars. Yep, it's going to punt again. And again, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to take a big play, or I think a big break, or who's going to have the first uh, turnover, Joe, on this game to decide who's going to take the lead. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, both teams have touched the ball twice. The Cougars are getting ready to punt for the second time, and the Sherman Rattlers have already punted. Twice. It'll be the Cougars pointing for about the 30-yard line when he gets rid of that ball, Joe. We're going to have Paul dissect what those Rattlers are doing to shut down Matt Whitesides a little bit later on in this ballgame because that is a chore. 
thus far they've got it done. Nice punt by the Cougars, backpedaling. Rattlers to return it from the 20 yard line. Out across the 25 and to the 30 yard line. They'll spin forward, stay on his feet for a moment, and then finally return man Justin Harris is taken down. Rattlers offense on the field, third time. Twice they've been shut down already. All right, it's good to be a little shout out. Joe, we got people calling in now. They heard you, and a little shout out going out to Jenny. I don't even know who it is, but you know what? We're going to send a shout out to Jenny. I got it. I just got that text and say a little hello to Jenny. Enjoy the game. And Joe, with the weather being what it was and what they didn't know whether it was going to rain or not, again, special thanks going out to Valleycenter.com. But you know what? You don't need to be out there. You can enjoy it at home. Enjoy it. That's the Avila family, my mom, my dad, everybody at the Avila's enjoying the game at home. We hope you enjoy the rebroadcast on Cats TV here locally on Edinburgh as well, who are providing us with this terrific camera coverage and a place in the press box from which to call the game. Swing pass right side for the Rattlers. Sidestepping a man at the 30-yard line, but nothing more for Loreno Guerrero. He thought he had something quickly shut down. And, and Joe, Paul brings this up all the time on these on these kind of plays and games that if you keep the guy from going outside, you got a chance. Because if he breaks to the outside, as the quarterback did on the last play, when he took it all the way, that's going to happen. The chance of you bringing him back into where you're going to get some help is he's going to be successful here. And that's what the Cougars are doing. But we have a flag against the Cougars, and it's going to be an automatic first down, Joe. Is that going to take him 15? 15 yep. yarder right there. Aaron Signs on the sideline maybe had a good view of that. What was the call on that? That was going to be a, a personal foul, number seven, actually, in the middle linebacker there. Just a little bit of uh, extra curricular activities going on after the play. And they've got some extra hitting going on in this football game. First down for the Rattlers, out now at the 47-yard line, and they'll run it. Quarterback keeper Chrysler to the 50-yard line and into Cougar territory. The exchange of possession now suddenly uh, helping the Rattlers out a little bit, don't it? Yeah, their field position got a lot better. Now they're at the 49-yard line of the Cougars on a second and six coming up. Yep. The middle linebacker, excuse me there, Joe, it's, it's the ex Sherryland Rattler. <laughs> 431 and counting here in the first quarter of play. Scoreless ball game. Edinburgh North taking on the Sherryland Rattlers. Rattler out of a shotgun formation. Snap back and a good snap and a quick pass out on the right hand side. Completed and a first down and more inside the 40. Oh, my wood ball. Loose ball. Looks like the Rattlers got Cougars it. ball. Cougars ball. Well, they got Sherry Land. Yeah, Sherry Land caught the oh, ball. Oh, my gosh. At the 30 yard line. So, uh, hey, Joe, there was a chance of a big break. It didn't happen for the Cougars. Second time, uh, they got the first break on the first time on that flag that they, it took away six points. But on this one, they will move. Paul, oh, one more time. Move, move those chains. chains. Rattlers moving the chain. It's going to be first and 10, and quickly they're at the. 33 yard line of the Cougars. Here we go, Joe. While the officials discuss things, Paul, I see you got your chalkboard down there on the sidelines. Give us what you got here as far as the plays. All right, guys. This is what basically what Sherry Land's doing. Uh, Whiteside just pretty much gets most of his yards up the middle. So what you're having is these guys are plugging all the gaps in the middle. Okay, and so there's nothing, there's nothing doing in the middle because Sherry Land, if they, let, if they bounce it outside, these line breakers are there for that. So they're plugging up the middle by hitting all the gaps right here, guys. That's what the, that's how they're giving Edinburgh North fits tonight. And thus, they're going to try to force a team that loves to pass the ball. Don't have, we talked about it in the pregame. Yeah. So they're going to force this team to throw the football, which sounded crazy when you first heard it. Yeah, and it does. But, I mean, I, these coaches are doing a great job so far. And uh, we'll see who's going to adjust first to the changes. Diego Chrysler out of a shotgun formation. First and 10 from the Cougar 33. He'll hand it off. They'll run it quickly inside the 30-yard line and strong running down to the 26-and-a-half-yard line. Another strong carry by Michael Gonzalez, and that's a good run on first down. Almost to the 25-yard line, Joe, so it's going to be second and two. I like to call this a free down. Be careful, Cougars. Yeah, be careful, Cougars, with a team that's got all the weapons that this Sherryland Rattler team possesses, and uh, the, the Rattlers uh, have really controlled this series between these two teams. We'll get to that here a little bit later on as well. Out of the shotgun once again for Chrysler. Rolls right side and a design rollout. Looks to pass. Still looking. No one downfield. Finally delivers a pass out of bounds. Secondary all over that. Aaron Signs on the sideline has a real good view of what the Cougars are doing defensively against the Sheridan Rattlers on that particular play. Well, what they're doing is they're keeping everything in front of them. They don't want to let anybody behind them on those passing routes. And so that's really just stifling that Sheridan uh, receiving course, keeping them up front. And that way they're able to get the pressure of the linebackers eventually shut down that passing hey, offense. Aaron, good job there. And that's exactly what they they do and that's why they, they dare you to pass the ball it's a shotgun formation on third down 
for the Rattlers. They'll run it left side, but there is nowhere to go. And now it's decision time for the Sherryland Rattlers. Fourth and about three coming up. Yeah, you're right, Joe. Maybe call it a long two, but it's going to say two on the board. But you're right. It looks more like three yards. It'll be fourth and two, and we'll see what the Sherryland Rattlers decide to do. And it seems to me like if they're going to go for it, I'd be careful with a hard count. A team that has moved the ball literally at will thus far on the season, uh, with the exception of one game, which was a victory over Laredo Alexander. They'll go for it on fourth down. Looked at the sideline, 12 on the play clock. Chrysler relays the play to the troops, stays in a shotgun formation, and keeps Gonzalez in the backfield with him. Takes a snap. Gonzalez fake a handoff, and Chrysler keeps it, stumbles forward on second effort. He might get there, but it looks like he's short from here. The spot is not good on the far side of the field there, Joe. We'll wait and see, but it seems to me like if he's going to be short, I'm sure there'll be a measurement coming up. Aaron Sines is right there. He's looking right down at it. They're probably going to measure, but Aaron, eyeball that and tell us what you see. Watch. Right. He really close, gentlemen. It is about within a foot or two of that uh, first down marker. Uh, the spot on the opposite side was a little bit back, but the white cap put it down, and that was actually closer to the first down marker. So it's going to be. And, and Aaron, you're exactly right. That's what I was telling Joe. The, the far side guy had him at least uh, a yard short. Coach Goss is on the field probably wondering what happened there because the white guy went in and moved a little forward. We'll wait and see. Here it comes. The measurement stretch out the chains. Cougars get the stop and get a it. big momentum swing. And Paul down there on the sideline. You can sense it. You tell me what you feel from the sidelines and the fans on a play like that. They were holding their breath. I mean, you talk about some silence. The crowd was quiet, and then you talk about a roar when, of course, the refs showed that they were short. The crowd was just inhaled. They inhaled, and you heard a big exhale. Ooh. And there we go. First down for the Cougars, and now out there, Donut, here they come. Joe, we got people still coming in, and ladies and gentlemen, it's about capacity crowd right now. We expect about over 10,000 people tonight. Are expecting this a 7.30 kickoff or what? That happens <laughs> tomorrow night. We're on a Thursday, boys. 7 o'clock kickoff. Pass play for the Cougars. Going for it all down the right sideline. Incompleted pass. They went for the deep ball. Yeah, ball, ball went out of bounds completely there by the Cougars. And again, um, Joe, I'm seeing the Cougars earlier in the year. You see uh, Guerrero sometimes. He's kind of not on or, you know, he's kind of Maybe a little nervous. I don't know what you want to call it, but let me tell you what. He'll get on. He'll get going pretty soon, and, and, and then you need to watch out for number 10. They haven't gone to Matt Lamitas at all, and uh, I'm, I'm saying there won't be more than two or three more plays before they go to him. We'll get one of our guys on the sideline to keep track of number 10 for the Edinburgh North Cougars and tell us what he's looking like over there, and I think he's out of the game right now on this second down play. Cougars looking to run the ball. Quarterback keeps it, and he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Rattlers of Sherryland all over that one. Yeah, and, and Joe, I mean, it's, it's going to be, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying this, and, and you know, thanks to ValleyCenter.com of course, and Cast TV 17 for bringing you this action tonight here in Edinburgh on a Thursday night, and Joe, it's going to take a big play. Now as you're, you're a team that doesn't like to throw the ball is now in a have to throw the ball situation. They're deep in their own territory. Cougars got to be careful here. Rattlers chopping it a bit, looking for perhaps the game's first turnover or a monumental big play out of third down. It's a draw play. They'll look to pass instead out of the play action. And what a catch out across the 29 yard line, short of first down yardage. That's a terrific catch. Exactly, John. Too bad you didn't get a first down out of it. But let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a replay, and Joe will take us through it if they give us a replay here. But let me tell you what, that was some catch there by number 22 of the Cougars. It's still going to be short of a first down. It'll be fourth and uh, four coming up. Cougars, third time they touch the ball, Joe, and they're playing for the third time. It was a nice catch that time. They've got him listed as uh, Michael Cotton, too, and that's exactly who caught that ball for the Cougars. Short of first down yardage, but what it did is it gives the punter a little more room from which to work with there. Otherwise, he was punting down near his goal line for the Cougars. Fourth and four, they'll get the punt away. A nice high uh, knuckleball style punt, middle of the field, fielded at the 35-yard line. They'll give up some ground. Now looking for a flag, nothing there out across the 40-yard line, 43-yard line. Paul, you had a real good view of that. It looked like a, a, a questionable block on that kick return. It was close. He, he, got, he got just enough in front of him. He got off of his front numbers, it was not a clip, boys. I can tell you that. Yeah, you kind of saw the, the, the helmet ball there in yes, front sir. of the shoulders, and that's going to make it legal there as far as the referee is concerned. So it was a clean block there. It freed him up for about another eight yards. So it's going to be, we talk about field position, Joe, and, and it's getting better and better for the Rattlers, and the Cougars, are, their field position is getting worse and worse. So things need to change if you want to do something as far as the Cougar defense. This time the Rattlers will start their own drive at the 43-yard line. First and 10, scoreless ball game with a minute three. 
three left here in the first quarter of play from Edinburgh. Rattlers of Sheridan out of a shotgun formation, and Chrysler looks to throw. Being rushed, gets away from the rush. Now he looks to swing a pass. He overthrows his man incomplete. That was dangerous. Yeah, and again, it seems to me like a good time is going to keep on him all night to throw the ball, and that's what Sheridan is doing. They ran the ball a few times. They've been successful. But right now, it's going to be second and 10 for Sheridan. They're at their own 43-yard line. Secondary that time, it's uh, Armando Garcia, who had his eyes wide open looking at that one, saying, are you throwing that in my direction? There's no one out here, but I'll, I'll go for him. Stops the clock with 56 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's second and 10 for the Rattlers at their own 43. Madden goes in motion. Chrysler takes a snap, hands the ball off. Running play Gonzalez. He's upended and down he goes. Open field tackle. Terrific job. Yep. Pick up of no yards at all. So it's going to be third and 10. Cougar defense coming up big. And, and gentlemen, let me tell you what. Special thanks going out to Joe Bowling, Paul Aldbury, Aaron Science. Thanks a lot. It's going to be great working with you. I really like what's going on out here. Special thanks going out, of course, to ValleySim.com and Cash TV 17. Here we go, Joe, third and ten. That's Donut Salinas here on my side in the press box at Cat Stadium on a Thursday night. 25 seconds to go. It's third down and ten for the Rattlers of Sheridan. Chrysler has all day this time. Delivers a pass. Man wide open outside the 40-yard line. Nailed out of bounds. And it's going to be a first down reception of Laredo Guerrero. Here we go. One more time, Pablo. Move, Move those, those chains. chains. The first down for Sherryland. It'll take it down to the 40. And Joe, talk about what you called the first game you heard us say that. I heard you guys say that and immediately. It just came to mind. I said, you guys need to get some T-shirts printed up. And I'll be darned. You got them. And I got mine tonight. So tell me the story on the T-shirts. You guys ran with it after this play. We'll do it after the play, Joe. First down play for the Rattlers. And it's another pass play. Chrysler looking right side. Still looking downfield. Waits, delivers it, took a big hit, and that's up for grabs, but it's in the end zone, out of bounds. Tell me about the shirts, Tom. And, Joe, we came about it. I have a, a nephew that came up and calls this play. Every time we get together and see the Cowboys at home, he just jumps in the middle of the living room and says, move those chains. So we started with that. Paula comes out with a good thing about the coaches. When you get everything you want, you come out with, que mas quieres? You heard us. You called it uh, first day of the season and said, I can't wait. I guarantee you there'll be some shirts out. Special thanks going out to Homer Hustle, uh, who uh, Superior Oil uh, change who came up and said he wanted a shirt. I said, there are only two. He goes, well, order some and I'll take care of them. And they have, and they've got them right here, and they had them on in our pregame show. Final play of the first quarter, barring a penalty. Pass play left side, and that goes nowhere. Big hit delivered that time by the Cougars. Aaron Sines, who's delivering the bigger hits tonight thus far, Cougars or Rattlers? I don't think you can hear us, boys. Hey, but I got you. I'm on. I'm on. Here we go. Cougar defense has been delivering some huge hits tonight. That time coming for number 55. That linebacking crew from the Cougars is on fire tonight. They're laying the wood, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, that's Aaron Sines. Hey, Aaron, keep up the good job, good work down there. And let me tell you what, I'm enjoying it. And I'm sure the people down at home are enjoying it. Also, Paul Osbury, special thanks going out to Paul and Aaron on the field. And, of course, Joe Bowling joining me, Donut, up here in the press box. Joe, what do you got after the first quarter? Was that a quick first quarter? That was a quickly played first quarter, but that's the way the Cougars want it. Get the, uh, keep the score low and uh, get your defense doing the job. Got some shout-outs already coming across. Also, Ruben Sines, the third, listening in San Antonio for the Cougars. Pat Recinto from Columbus, Georgia. Nephew is Matt Whitesides, who plays with the Cougars, and also the Esparza family in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, all rooting for the Cougars. This is the Edinburgh side of ValleyCentral.com right now, and they're all chiming in for the Cougars wanting to win this ball game. Also, Richard Armigo in Chicago. Uh, Ex-Cougar uh, joined the game tonight. Richard, little hola going out to you, and of course, all of Flores Zapata Elementary here in Edinburgh, they're enjoying the game. Third down and 10 as we start the second quarter of play. Scoreless, Rattlers with the football at the Cougars of Edinburgh North 40-yard line. They'll set up at the left hash mark. Shotgun formation for Chrysler. He'll operate out of that all night long, if allowed. Drops back, sees the rush coming, gets away from it. Now he looks downfield, delivers the pass. Got a man inside the 10, caught down inside the five-yard line. Out of bounds there. That's all Chrysler getting out of the pocket. Now, I was about to bring that up, Joe, and that's a big point right there that Joe just mentioned, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you what, Joe. It seems to me they've had him behind for a sack maybe four or five times, and not once have they gotten to him. Aaron Sines, what did you see down there? That is exactly what's going on, Donut. They have almost sacked him several times. This is a team who loves to sack the quarterback. They just can't get to him. He seems to get outside and make a pass downfield. They're going to have to get to him. They're going to stop that. First and goal. Chrysler on a run. Takes it on his own. Gets down near the goal line. And I don't think he got in yet. No, no sir. No, sir. He didn't make it. All right. We and he's shaking up, boys. He took, a, he took a shot. He got up slow. Again, how long can he go, Joe? 
can keep going. Well, he takes a couple more hits like that, then you might see Lance Madden slide in there. But that hasn't or wasn't a problem when both those players were healthy early in the season. All right, second and goal from the half-yard line. Here come the Rattlers trying to get the first points of the night here tonight on the road at Edinburgh North. Shotgun formation, Chrysler takes it, hands it off, left side, that's in the end zone. Touchdown, Sherryland Rattlers, 11-16 to go. Quarter number two, they're on the board. So Sherryland first on the board with 11-16, like Joe called it. It's going to be the Rattlers, six, and they're going to the point after. Joe will take you right through it for right now, ladies and gentlemen, with 11-16 left in the half. It's the Sherryland Rattlers going first on the night. It's 6-0, and here comes the point after, Joe. And they set the kicker up at the 10-yard uh, line. They'll spot this ball down. Rattler's offense was held in check for the first quarter, but it didn't take them long in the second quarter to get things cranked up less than a minute in. And they're on the board, leading 6-0. And Edinburgh North will have to play catch up here tonight out of the gate here in the second quarter. Long snap gets back. The kick is away. It's long high. It's good. 7-0 to score. Rattler's on top. And Donut Salinas. This series has been owned by Sherry Land, and the Cougars can't afford to fall back by much. Now, Joe, another thing that you might consider as a Cougar is, you know, the way Sherry Land scores, the way they put points on the board, the way they're known for uh, holding up to no points in the first quarter and only so far seven in the second half. That might be some momentum or something to build on if you're a Cougar. On the other hand, that offense needs to get going. Uh, the last play, of course, when the offense came good on that pass, on that great catch, maybe Guerrero will get going after completing that pass. And that's what the Edinburgh North Cougars want to get going. You look back at this series last year, Sherry then wins this game 48-7. to A year before that, 48-16. A year before that, 28-12. Even in 2009 and 10, Sherry then won the regular season game 24-10. But the Cougars last victory over Sherryland came in that season in a second round playoff game an undefeated Sherryland team knocked out by the Cougars and that started the run of second round playoff exits for the Sherryland Rattlers. And what a, what a game Joe I was there I believe it was in McAllen and you know a lot of people thought the game was over and Sherryland was going to win and just Cougars came out of nowhere and came up on top on that game and, that, and that's something that you don't forget so again you know that's just that's started to me what Sherry Land has been doing uh, with the Cougars the past few years. Last time the Cougars won the regular season game between these two teams was the 2007-8 season. It was a 21-14 victory. That time Sherry Land didn't make the playoff. That's the last time they haven't been in the playoffs. Edinburgh North that time lost to Westaco. I researched this back through 2005-06. Never have any uh, both teams been left out of the playoffs. These are playoff teams <laughs> for the Rio Grande Valley representing nearly every year both of them. A kickoff and the Cougars Field it over on the sideline. Did they step out of bounds? Or was that out, out of bounds, bounds first? At the six yard line. Well, Paul, what did you see down there? It looked like it was going to go out of bounds anyway. We're all, everybody on the sideline, even the, the doctor and the photographers, they're all screaming, let it go, let it go. And he just he just couldn't help it. He just couldn't help it. He went and got it, and his tippy toes were on the line. We were all screaming, let it go out of bounds. And, and Joe, let me tell you what, Joe, we're talking about field position, and we talk about it all the time. It's seems to me it's getting worse and worse for the Cougars and getting better for Sherryland. We'll wait and see what's going to happen. Right now it's going to be first and ten for the Cougars. They're going from the south side to the north side. They're at their own six-yard line. Cougars, will they be real conservative here? The running game has been shut down thus far in this ball game, trailing 7-0, 11-16 to go in the second quarter. Shotgun formation, and they'll run it right side, and they will go nowhere as the Rattlers defenders were in the backfield that time, never got a chance to head upfield. As Paul called it earlier, Joe, it seems to me like they they are shooting the gap there, and nothing's going to happen. And you start getting through the outside, and maybe something will happen, or something will open up for the Cougars. But right now, there's been nothing up the middle, which they've been doing. Uh, he ran for 281 yards last week. Perhaps that'll middle. set up a screen play. We'll talk to Paul well, about this that. This guy didn't go in the huddle. Snap or two. Here we go out of the no huddle. Here come the Cougars up to the line, second and 11. Ball back at their own five-yard line. They'll run it again. Left tackle, a little room out across the 10, and fighting forward to about the 13-yard line. But a critical third down coming up for the Cougars. Don't it? How big is it? But they got to get a first down or two on this drive. Oh, you have to. And again, the defense is going to get tired. They've been on the field all night long. It seems the Cougars have just gotten this. The fourth time they touch the ball, they, every three times they touch it, it's three and out. From the 13-yard line, they'll need to get out beyond the 16 to get a first down for the Cougars of Edinburgh North, trying to answer Sherry Land's first points of the board. 7-0 to score, 10-11 left, second quarter play. Cougars out of a shotgun, they'll run it again, this time right up the middle, and that will not get a first down, even with second and third effort. Whitesides never got to the 15, needed to get to the 16. Yeah, you're right, Joey, right there. So it's going to be one more time for the Cougars. 
three and out, and they'll be punting from about their own five-yard line. So the Rattlers will get tremendous field position out of this. And Aaron Sides, can you sense momentum now over on that visitor sideline? Definitely, the momentum is building as the field position gets shorter and shorter for Sheridan Rattlers after these three and outs. And Sheridan is, is smelling the blood in the water, if you will, because they know their offense can put some points on the board quickly. And especially with a short field, they're going. Momentum's their way right now. So they will probably set up a return game versus coming after the punter who stands inside his five-yard line for Edinburgh North. Snap back a good one, gets the kick away, low line drive, and it's going to take a bounce for the Cougars and roll into Sherryland territory all the way down to the 42. That's about as good as you can ask yeah. for your punter. Yeah, and you wanted a break, and that, that's a big break. They're going to get the roll there. The ball did hit at about the 44-yard line of the Cougars. Ended up rolling another 10 yards or 15 yards all the way down to the 42-yard line of Sherman. But, Joel, you still got 58 yards. That's all you need to go to points on the board. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff going on. We got another listener here, Laura Lopez of Laguna Vista, says, go Rattlers. That's my first shout-out to a Rattler fan coming at us here on ValleyCentral.com. Well, we've got people tuning in worldwide. We'll have them and the shout-outs as we continue on with our broadcast here. Rattlers with the football, first and 10 from their own 42-yard line. Chrysler fakes a handoff to Madden, gets it to the left-hand side. It's Gonzalez, jumps a man to the 45-yard line, brought down there. And again, Lance Madden on the field, appears to be healthy. I want uh, Aaron Sines to keep an eye, spy on number eight on the Rattlers, and you tell me he's coming off injury, and uh, just tell us if he's at 100% from your perspective a little bit later on. Rattlers with the football, second and seven from the 45-yard line, and they'll go with a shotgun formation once again on this second down play. They'll fake the handoff this time, and now they'll look to deliver a deep ball down the field. Got a man inside the 30, caught! Down to the 20-yard line, big play for the Rattlers, and there he is right there, Donald Salinas. And Joe, we just got a text. They want to know what we say both, both times when they get a first down. Do we call it Bottle? We always do. Land. Here we go. Move, Move those chains. chains. And yes, we do do it for both teams, Joe, just to let everybody know. It's, it's just something we do both ways. Here we go, Joe. Now, first Aaron signs uh, your scouting report. We'll get that on Lance Madden, but I think he just answered the question. He's 100%. We'll get to that after the snap. Shotgun, empty backfield. Rattlers look to throw the ball again. Waiting. Chrysler now rolls away, getting pressure. Gets hit as he throws the ball. It's caught inside the 20-yard line. Short gain again. Real quick, Aaron signs Lance Madden appears to be 100%. He looks 100%. I know he has a knee brace on, but it doesn't look to be affecting it. I mean, he went wide open on that route. He's going to continue doing that if the Cougars don't put somebody on him. Don't have that Pick. pressure that time right there. Again, again. They seem like they're going to get him there, uh, Paul and uh, Aaron, and they just can't seem to get the quarterback down. It's going to take a big play by the defense. Second down play, and that's real frustrating when you're chasing a quarterback over and over. He wants to throw again, looking, corner of the end zone, up for grabs. Matt there, tipped away incomplete. Yeah, the defender never turned around. We got two flags on the field, and you got to turn around if you're a defender when the ball's going. Paul, what you see there, Paul? Yeah, clearly, boys. He beat the linebacker. Clever, a clever offensive play because the outside receiver stayed put and, and drew the corner up. And so it was a one-on-one -on -one with a receiver and a linebacker, and the receiver's going to win that one, boys. Yeah, of course. It's not going to go into the end zone or put up the one-yard line like in the, in the pros, but they're inside the 20. They might give him the ball at the 2, if I'm not mistaken. They're asking right now, was he in the end zone when the flag was thrown? And here comes the call. When I get a chance, boys, I'm going to draw it up for you, well, how they're finding the void in the defense. I'm going to draw it up here in a minute. Okay, Paul, we'll wait for you, and you let us know when you're going to be ready. So it's going to be first and go. So, Paul, we're going to, one more time, move, move those, those chains, chains and, and then we're going to drop, drop them, them chains. chains. <laughs> so once again, we're moving them, we're dropping them. It's first and ten from the first and goal from the TR line for the Rattlers. Joe. Once again, we're on ValleyCentral.com in conjunction with a partnership with Cats TV here tonight at 7.46 to go second quarter. Sheridan trying to double their score, which currently 7-0 before the snap. Whistled on the field. Officials want to talk it over. Tomorrow night, fans, I want to remind you, as Aaron Sines is on the sideline, he'll be in the booth with me from Harlingen. Bird Bowl sold out in advance. Therefore, we can go live streaming video and audio tomorrow night on ValleyCentral.com. Uh, how do you Harlingen, like that? Cardinals and South Hawks going at it. Running play for the Rattlers, and there's no indication yet. There they is. say touchdown. It is a touchdown. And just like that, Sherylan jumps up 13 to nothing. So with 7.41, ladies and gentlemen, it's now the Rattlers 13, Cougars 0. Cougars need to get, and again, Joe, I think it's the difference going to be there, Paul and Aaron. It's going to be the field position. Aaron, you brought it up. I'm bringing it up. And the field position needs to start going the Cougar way. Let's go to Aaron signs on the sideline and talk about that. Now, you're with the, uh, the north side of the end zone, but you're also real close to what's going on Edinburgh north side. 
get a sense of what's going on there. Is it urgent or is it panic or is it just a, a calm before a storm that they hope is coming? Well, there's a lot of frustration on the sideline because that offense just can't get moving. And so you're trying to sense a little bit of that defense kind of egging that offense on, saying, hey, come on, you need to help us out here. And uh, the really offense has not had any answer yet. So you're starting to feel that tension, but I, I think that they're going to turn that tension and try to put something uh, positive on the field. And uh, so we're going to look to see them move that ball just like Sherlin's been moving those chains. So they got to get on it. Aaron, one more time, I'm going to ask you on that. On the, how frustrating does it look? It's getting every time they think they got the quarterback, it just finds out a, a way to get away and get the pass completed. Well, I told you, Esky Bell, we talked about him being a former Sterling Rattler. He has been all over the quarterback, but he just seems like he's able to get out of his grasp at the last second and get a pass away. Very impressive. And so uh, there's some frustration as well in that defense. Paul, you're on the sideline on the south side of the field here. When you're looking at the defensive pressure, Edinburgh North coming, do you do anything differently because you're, you're nearly getting the quarterback on those plays? You know, guys, look, what's happening is Edinburgh North is accustomed to getting pressure in the quarterback. And what's happening is Sherry has got time. And if you get time, you're going to break down that secondary. So they're a good credit to Sherry Land for being the first team uh, thus far to, you know, give the quarterback time. That breaks down the secondary point. And Run. again, Donut, it sure looks like they're coming after the quarterback. It's all quarterback right now getting out of the grass before they get to And it, it. seems like they get, they're going to hit him. They've hit him a few times. But, they, I mean, you've got to finish off the play. And right now, the the, the, the Cougars aren't finishing off the play on the quarterback. And he's finding a way to beat him. And he's beating him right now with a score of 14-0. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Sherry Land kicking from the north side towards the south side. It'll be the Cougars. See, uh, the only chance right now, I think, for a little momentum is getting some good field position right here. They get a big play somehow, somehow to go in down this first half of play. 7.41 remaining, 14 nothing score. Sherry Lynn Rettner's on top, Halloween night in Edinburgh, and a high deep kickoff. This one won't go out of bounds. It goes out of the back of the end zone, and the kicker for Sherry Lynn takes a mystery out of that return. Cougars, though, will get better field position to start this drive. Exactly. I was about to get to that, and it's going to be the 25-yard line, so that's not bad, but they've been getting the ball lately, which has been the 16 the six, the two, and it's, it's getting worse and worse. So the 25-yard line might be able to open up the play calling a little bit for uh, for Damon Gonzalez. That is the offensive coordinator for the Cougars. We'll wait and see. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a happy ticket treat for the Sheridan Rattlers, and it's been a boo for the for the <laughs> Cougars. We'll wait and see what happens. It's first and 10 Cougars at their own 25-yard line. They'll operate out of a shotgun formation once again. Alex Guerrero, the quarterback. Waits, takes a snap, drops back, wants to throw over the middle, tipped incomplete, nearly intercepted. Hey, Paul, by any chance, Paul, number 10 in the game, or have you heard anything from the from the sidelines on Matt Ramirez? And, of course, we know Alvarez is out. Uh, no, sir, I have not, and I see Matt Ramirez. He is just pouncing around this, this sideline. He's just moving around. I know he wants to get in so bad. He has not. He's nowhere near the, the coach as far as getting in on the offense at this time. All right, so it's going to be second and 10 for the Cougars. They need to get something going. This is the fifth time I already told they touched the ball. Had the hands on the football, they just can't move it against this Rattler defense. Michael Contu, that time the intended receiver. Second and 10 with 7.38 to go in the half. And they'll swing a pass right side, completed across the 25, but it's covered quickly. White sides with a catch, but he had nothing but white jerseys out there with him, don't it? Picked up only two yards, so call it third and eight. And on your side of the field, you need to be careful here and not turn the ball over on a pass. But at the same time, you want to get the momentum going, some kind of momentum for your team on the on your side of the field. So we'll see what's going to happen here. It is third and eight for the Cougars. They're at their own 27-yard line. Barrow once again needs to get a first down. Trips receiver left side, single receiver out to the right. White side stays in the backfield for protection and a penalty before the snap to the play clock run out. Yeah, and that seems to be the call right now. We'll wait and see to make sure, but it seems to me like it is going to be a delay of game by the Cougars, uh, even though the... The guy that's supposed to throw the flag, uh, if it would have been the leg, Angel would have the back judge throwing the flags. So it was the guys on the sideline, so it's a little procedure by the cooler. So instead of making it third and eight, call it third and 13. Things are getting uh, just, you know, they're not getting any better for the Cougars, uh, Joe. It's going to be third, and uh, Kevin Otto will say not a good, manageable third down. It's third and 13 coming up, 6.54 left in the half. Rattlers can either bring the house or they can fall back and try to get a pick here. On third down and long, Cougars want to throw. They're given time. Now he's pressured out of the pocket. Now Guerrero looks to run. Penalty flag on the field as he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Looks like that penalty is going to be against the Cougars, too. Yeah, it's going to be in the, in the holding area, and I'm pretty sure Sherman's going to just decline that. 
and get the ball once again with 6.40 left. That's a lot of time for Sheridan. It doesn't take make them uh, long for them to score. It's going to be holding. Here comes the call. Yeah, Aaron signs real quick while they're getting that assessed. Uh, tomorrow night, Berg Bowl, Harlingen, Harlingen South, similar in the series, which has been controlled by Harlingen. What's going on here tonight? Frustration by Edinburgh North in a game that once you suddenly look up and say, what does it take to beat this team? We'll get to that in just a moment. It's playing time, though, for the Cougars as they stand inside their 15-yard line. Rattlers should get good field position out of this, already leading in the ball game, 14-0. Short kick, going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be in Cougar territory. Momentum all on the Sherryland side. Yeah, and it's only getting worse for the Cougars. And again, I mean, how many times are you going to ask the defense to come up big? Now, Joe, don't be surprised if they come up big with a big play with a fumble or interception. But for right now, it's all Sherryland. There's a crowd getting up on their, on their feet on the Sherryland side, of course. The player asking them to get up on their feet. It's going to be, it's going to take a lot for these Cougars to come back. Again, they can do it, uh, and it's possible, but it's going to take a big play. Worst script for Roy Garza and company is to fall down three scores against Sherryland and have to go out of uh, character and how they operate on the offense and the defense because then you suddenly trying to gamble. But they've got 19 picks on the season against a team that likes to throw the ball, so it can turn over in one quick snap. Swing pass, right side for the Rattlers. Completed pass inside the 45 sideline and out of bounds, but not before a nice gain on a catch by Michael Gonzalez. For the first time they get offside, and they, I mean, and we talk about it all the time, Joe. That's the main thing. As an offensive guy, you want to get to the outside, but well, there's nobody there to help. They got to the outside, picked up 11 yards, so Bob Move, Move those, those chains. chains. Here we go. First and 10 for Sherryland at the 32-yard line of the Cougars. And they are set to go once again out of a shotgun, and they'll look to throw. Looking. Ton of time. Swing pass right side. Gonzalez got a block, too. Inside the 25. Takes on a tackler down to the 20 and, the eight, and further to the 18-yard line. Right back to Gonzalez. Pablo! Move, Move those, those chains. chains! Again, we're just saying it for Sherryland. I don't think the Cougars have picked up a first down. Uh, this evening, they've gone three and out five times. 15 plays, 14, all the 20 with the punt for right now. Sherry Land one more time. First down at the 17-yard line. Six minutes left here in the half. They lead 14-0, and they'll run the jet sweep to the left side, and then they'll cut it upfield. Nice job on a cutback down to around the 10-yard line, and the Rattlers banging on the door, looking to increase their right now 14-0 lead. How, how easy are they making it look, Joe? They've, they've spread it out. They've used the pass to soften things up. A jet sweep that time and a, a terrific cutback to get that additional yardage. Second down after a six-yard gain. It's four yards to go for the Rattlers. They can still get a first down without getting in the end zone. 5.28 to go in the second quarter. Man in motion. Hand off Gonzalez. Running play left side, and that's shut down. And right now, it's draw a line in the sand time for Edinburgh North Cougars. They can't afford another touchdown. No, here. third and three coming up, and it's going to be again. How many times are you going to ask the defense? Six times Sherry Land touches the ball. They got rid of it quickly the first two times, but after that, they've been moving the ball quite a bit, so that defense will get tired. Well, it's got to be frustrating, too, when you look to the sidelines and your offense keeps going three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out, and you're right back at it, and everyone's saying, hey, get us a stop. Whistle on the field, and there's a timeout going to be called as the teams want to talk about it. Aaron Sines, see if we got you down there, mic'd up right now. Again, talk about the, the frustration in a big series in a game in which you just can't seem to find a way to win as of late. Yeah, they're just having a hard time finding a way to win against uh, this, the share line here on, on offense here is just uh, uh, continuing to dink and dive those little passes there. And, uh, you know, you kind of sense that Edinburgh North feels like they've been in this situation before. They don't want to continue in that. And so you can kind of feel that tension starting to rise and say, no, no, not again. Uh, really important for them to, to try to make something happen quickly here before it gets and as Aaron Science chimes in there we go to Paul and Paul on your side Paul Osbury uh, talk about the, the, what that defense is looking across knowing that hey we keep getting stops uh, but you guys aren't moving the football how frustrating is that you know guys like what I got what I'm gonna drop here is how they've been defeating their secondary and this is all predicated on time if Sherry Land has time they're gonna break down the defense what you have is two guys running two, two routes in the same area you have a safety that's covering a whole lot of space. The quarterback has time. 
the safety has to stay in the middle, and so that's that's just too easy, boys. If he has time, you got two guys going in one big void area. The safety cannot cover both of them, and that's what Sherryland's doing. It's all predicated on time. Again, we've seen penetration, don't know. The defense is getting close, but they can't get that quarterback. Yeah, they don't seem to finish off the play for right now, and we'll see they finally do because they're going to play third and two coming up all at the nine-yard line. Rattlers with a critical third down here, leading 14 nothing, and they would love to get a first down here or, more importantly, get another touchdown. They'll run the ball. Left side on another sweep, and the jet sweep goes nowhere, and it's going to be fourth down for the Rattlers. Do they kick it or they go for it here? Do, well, do you want to wake up the dead? We saw it last week where, you, you know, you got a chance here. I mean, these guys are just down. Now, you want to go for it, and they hold you, and they go 90-some yards. The momentum will shift so quick. Well, they went for it once, and it looks like they're leaving the offense on the field here. They need to get this ball about three and a half yards. They're at the 10-yard line of the Edinburgh North Cougars. Look to the sideline, Diego Chrysler with 21 seconds on the play clock, so plenty of time there. Shifting defensively are the Cougars. Again, they look to the sidelines, trying to see if they can find one chink in the armor here against this Cougar defense. Play clock down to 10. Chrysler looks sideline again, seven on the play clock. I don't think they're gonna snap the football. <laughs> you kinda, I kind of felt that coming there, but once again, uh, Joe, you need to be careful, man. You wake up a team like that and then they get fired up, you need to be careful that they're not going to come back and just take advantage of some a momentum shift from like that. Paul, as a coach, what do you want to do? Uh, you take you take the three points, boys. You go ahead and take three uh, and go up, you know, a three-possession game at that point. Uh, you should take the three, boys. A Aaron, I got a question for you now. Uh, please watch out because if they go for it and or they hold them to no points, I feel the momentum going to shift, so be ready and uh, see what you got. What do you think there, Aaron? Well, I think that they're going to go for it. I think I agree with Paul over there that they should kick that field goal. Kind of just uh, uh, continue that momentum that they're building. They would like nothing more but just take a touchdown in at Edinburgh uh, North defense uh, just to kind of prove a point here. So I, I think that they're going to gamble it away. Well, they've got the kicking team in, but that doesn't mean they're going to kick the football. Lance <laughs> okay. Madden is a holder, and he was uh, uh, sharing quarterback duties uh, on a regular basis with Diego Chrysler prior to an injury earlier on the season. It'll be uh, marked down at the 17-yard line, a 27-yard field goal, snap back, ball down, kick up long. No good, no good, no good, no good, boys, no good. Gonna make it. No good, so Edinburgh North comes up big, Joe, and to me that's a big play. That might be a big momentum shift that the, the Cougars needed. We'll wait and see. At the other hand, uh, if you're sharing land, I mean, I, anybody, I, I think with the right call to kick three now, we don't know their kicking game in the front. It didn't work good there. Paul, did you see any problems on the snap, the hold, or the kick or anything? Yes, I did. The hold was a little bit bobbled, boys. It took just a little bit, a split second longer for the holder to get the ball on the tee. I think that's what disrupted the kicker, but he did bob the ball a little bit, boys. That's Paul Algray on the field. Again, Aaron Sainz joins us on the other side. Guys, gentlemen, you know what, uh, Joe Wolling, I'm enjoying this. You talked to me earlier and said, Donut, you're ready, and uh, you put him in the spot with Channel 4 Sports. You know what, I enjoyed it. <laughs> so uh, besides that, Joe, I'm having a blast. And thanks again to Joe, Paul, and Aaron joining Donut here in Edinburgh. He got a little taste of live TV, fans, for those of you on the pregame show. Running play white sides for the Cougars, fighting hard, but he's going to be shut down for a loss of about a couple of yards. And this Sherryland defense, we haven't talked enough about what they're doing right now, but it's literally shutting down the Cougars. Well, the, the talk was the, the, the Cougar defense. That's, I mean, the, the big team, the big team uh, defensive players there. And the, Joe, you talked about it last year. So here we go. Cougars, no, no huddle. Cougars trying to get something going on the offensive side of things. 3:33 and counting. They'll get the ball to start the second half if you can put something together here. Pass play, right side, overthrown, incomplete. Yeah, and again, it, it's Guerrero's not kind, not on right now. The only pass that was completed was a, was a heck of a catch by number, I believe, it was Cantu that made that catch and one ended grab. The ball was behind him, and uh, is that Ramirez in the game? Oh, I did not see him, boys. Okay, I think it's 18. Then I thought I thought it yeah. was Chan. Yeah. Once again, uh, maybe we'll get some word, Paul, and. Uh, if you don't mind getting some word from coach, if we're going to see 10. I'm, I'm right here know. walking in between them right now. Walking we're, not right between. See, we're not going to see uh, all about this. I know that. So here we go. Cougars, third and 12 from their own 18-yard line. Out of the shotgun formation, uh, 326 to go in the half. Play clock down to four. They'll get the snap off. Play action pass. Looking for the deep ball. Right side overthrown by a long shot. And it's punting time for the Cougars once again. Yeah, we got no flags on the field. So it's going to be fourth and 12. For the sixth time, Joe, three and out. There we go.
go with the defense uh, looking on the sidelines as the offense comes out and they're just like hey we got the stop we didn't give up any points and just we got to get a first down or two you know lost in the shuffle here is a Sherryland defense uh, we talked about Edinburgh out of the gate they shut out their first four opponents uh, and racking up 133 to nothing in four wins but Sherryland has quietly I guess you could say quietly shut out four opponents this season of their last one two three four five games Three of those have been shutouts. Three points given up to Edinburgh. So this team defensively has been doing the job. Just haven't got the publicity because the offense has been putting the numbers out. Good field position for the Rattlers after that punt exchange. Once again, they'll be starting on the north side of the field. They're going to be starting at the 49-yard line of the Cougars. You only got 49 yards to go. You still got 314 left in the half. And, Joe, that momentum didn't shift one bit. No, not at all. And now what you got to do for the defense is you've got to get to the quarterback. But, uh, Paul, does that mean you start gambling and therefore you set yourself up for the halves for the big play? Guys, well, first, you know, first of all, let me tell you what is killing the Cougars is the quarterback has to. You have to address that first because the, the uh, Sherryland has found a void in their defense and that they have time. So you have to deal with that first, boys. You've got to bring something. Here we go. Shotgun, empty backfield for Chrysler on first down. Wants to throw. Here comes the blitz up the middle. They can't even drop him at the 40-yard line. Yep, and for go. the first there's, time. There you go. Did you make that call, Pablo? Once again, for the first time, it's the Cougar defense finally getting to the quarterback, and that was number seven, the middle linebacker of the ex Sherryland Rattler. Yeah, boys, I went up to Coach Sines. I said, I wish Spinner's here. You did a blitz right up the middle. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. First second down. and 19, Joe. On the first down sack, uh, Rattlers look to throw again, and the penalty flags come raining in, and now suddenly things going backwards for the Rattlers. Now 2.44 to go in the half. Donut Salinas, this penalty is going to be against the, the Rattlers. Cougars going to get the ball to start the second half. Do you, do you try to get the ball here and get something done? Well, I think like Bob called it a while ago, Joe, if, if, if you need something, the offense doesn't seem to be waking up the team. Maybe you're going to gamble and get, let the defense do some waking up here. Second down and a bunch. Call it 24 yards to go for the Rattlers and Sherryland. Empty backfield. Quarterback looks right, passes. Third. Intercepted and look to the house. Here go the Cougars down the sideline inside the 10-5. Touchdown Cougars! Touchdown Cougars! Bat the pick six with 2.26 to go. One of the guys that got that ball, who was that rumbling downfield? Rumbling for the rumbling. Cougars. That's going to be 55, 55, Reels. 55. Number 55. Reels. Reels. 50, 50, 50, 50. I'm sorry, number 50. Yeah, you got Reels? Uh, is that not 50 was, let's see, who was 50 for the Edinburgh North five, Cougars? 5-5, five, 5-5. Five, five. Five, five. Oh, you got it right, Aaron? Yeah, it was 55. Good Rio, job, Aaron. Rio, so on the pick six. Joe, we just talked about it, don't we? We called the defense having to come up with a big play. Did they ever, ladies and gentlemen? 2.27 left. The Cougar defense gets on the board. Here comes the point after. Joe, take us through it, Joe. One way you can look at your offense and say, you know, hey, we'll help you out is to put points on the board, and that's exactly what they just did. Now, extra point coming up for the Cougars. What a big play right there. Now, if you're the Sherryland Rattlers, now suddenly, Donut, you're looking, saying, okay, there's still time on the clock, and we got an offense that can move the ball real quick. And be careful. Be careful, though. You might turn the ball around one more time. So we have a delay a game against the Cougars. They didn't have enough players on the field. And, I mean, that might come with, you know, the excitement that well, would just happen. The last thing you're expecting is to send the, the extra point team on the field. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you got out. the defense playing anyway. But, nevertheless, they came up with six points. That was the defense. So, ladies and gentlemen, this game might turn out to be what we expected for right now. It's 227 left. And it's Cougars 6 going for the point after Rattlers 14. Five yards beyond the normal extra point. Yardage was still attainable. Kick up long high and good. Here's good. 27 to go in the half. 14 7. Rattlers yeah. leading the Cougars. Cougars very much alive. Yeah, they were back in the game. And again, ladies and gentlemen, no shot going out to Mr. Granado. Is he got Granado? Hey, how'd you like that, Mr. Granado? Again, the father of Robert Granado. Well, a coach for the Cougar side. Uh, I, little did I know, Joe, he, he enjoys hearing us all the time, and, and uh, he heard about the shirt, so it was his daughter. Uh, so little shout-out going out to Sonia uh, Badillo, who let me know. He goes, my dad said, when he heard uh, you all talking about the shirt, I need one of them shirts. Donut, I got a shout-out. Send it. I got, listen to on ValleyCentral.com. Right now, we got Dolly Guzman, second-grade teacher, Brewster Longhorns in the house. She just texted me, said, you guys sound great. She's enjoying the game on her computer at home. Nice, uh, glad to see you tuning in, Dolly. 
Uh, we've got two more. How about Gloria J. Cruz listening in for the Rattlers, watching the ball game on ValleyCentral.com, as is Sammy Gray, also rooting for the Rattlers, who suddenly find themselves in a ball game thanks to that pick six right there by the Cougar defense. Hey, Joe, and again, Joe, special thanks going out to you, Joe. You got me involved last year. <laughs> I love it. You told me it was going to get big. It's going to get bigger, apparently, and uh, we're getting ready for the playoff. Replay. Well, right now, I was about to ask you, how do you like again. that? How do you like it, Joe? The replay was terrific, but I'm saying his knee was down before he got yes, in the end Yes, he did. Zone. I thought the knee was down at about the two or the one and a half. But uh, on a play like that, if you're the ref and you're that far away, they were pretty far away to make a call. So they made what they thought was right, and that was a touchdown for the Cougars. So with 227, now it's going to be the Cougars kicking off for the second time in the game because they hadn't scored. That's so right. they're kicking Boys, off the, second the time. student live. The student. Can you hear the student body? Can the you hear the student body? body? Here we go. Can you hear them? Yeah, let me hear you. Woo! They're alive over here in the student section. And they are enjoying their Cougar football here at home on a Halloween night. Kick off by the Cougars. Rattlers still a very dangerous football team. A lot of time on that clock here before this half comes to an end. Sideline to the 30-yard line on the kick return, but they'll not get any further than that. Yep. And suddenly you can sense it. Aaron Sines down there. Momentum shift big right now on the home side. I still have some goosebumps on my arm. <laughs> Interception, touchdown, return came up, and this crowd just electrified that moment. Number 55, Rios got a hero's welcome as he came back to the sideline. And so, you know what, we talk about momentum. Edinburgh North's got a little bit of it right now. Hey, Aaron, thanks a lot. That's Aaron Sides once again joining us for the first time in Edinburgh. And I bet you all going to have a good one tomorrow with that bird bowl. I think I yeah, teach you at our school talking about it. <laughs> Sold out at uh, Arlington, the bogus stadium. And for the first time in perhaps the bird bowl history, both teams can be picked realistically win that football game. Pass play. Now the Rattlers looking downfield. Chrysler still looking. Finally delivers it on this back play. Oh. Complete. Took a big shot to. And again, the, the Cougar defense finally getting to him. They didn't get to him that time. Aaron there, but what did you see? Did he have to really hurry that pass off? Tell you what, those defenders were coming up right in his face. Basically, they formed a, a big navy blue wall, and so he had to get rid of it faster than he wanted to, then almost ended up in another pick. 14 to go in the half. Rattlers were up 14 nothing comfortably. And then a big sack and then a penalty and then a pick six has turned the momentum around. Now Rattlers empty backfield once again. Five receivers said this team can go quick. Penalty flag on the play though. They won't get this snap away. Number seven moved on the play there for the Rattlers. So it's going to be now instead of second and ten. It's going to be third and ten. The last two times the Rattlers have touched the ball. They've gone nowhere but backwards. Now 19 picks coming into this season and that was number two. 20 on the year for the Edinburgh North Cougars defense. And uh, now suddenly you got the Rattler team saying, hey, wait a minute, this team is for real, this defense. And so they got to come up with an answer. Second and 15. Joe, take it away, Joe. Out of the shotgun formation, Chrysler looks to throw again. A pass right side completed across the 25-yard line to the 30, about the 32, 35-yard line. And they'll be short of first down yardage, but a manageable third down coming up. Of course, picked up 11 yards on that play. Got to the outside, then cut it back to the inside. Picked up 11, so it's going to be a third and four from their own 31-yard line. Big play, Joe, right here. It can change the momentum, not only of the game, but the half. We'll wait and see. 145 left. Joe. And a third down play for the uh, Rattlers of Sherryland. Out of a shotgun formation, they'll look to throw. Swing pass right side, high caught. Out across the 45-yard line. That's a first down on a completed pass to Brandon Garza, the senior wideout. And that was a big gamble there, and there is number 10. Was that Matt Ramirez there, Paul, that went for the yes, interception? Sir. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Matt Ramirez in the game, not only in the offensive side, but on the defensive side. He went for a gamble. He missed the ball. They got a first down. So for Sherryland, move on, oh, change. And they'll try to move him again. Pressure up the middle. Chrysler going to run. Makes a real nice move. Now fumbles the Fumble. football. A loose ball, and the Cougars got it. Cougars! Joe, you called it. It's Cougar football. It's going to be first and 10, 121 left in the half. All of a sudden, Cougars are back in the game. The momentum is switched. It's going to be first and 10. They're at the 45-yard line of the Rattlers. An intravenous intervention here by the defense <laughs> saying, here's a shot we need, boys. And they have come up, a team that relied on this defense. Look at Chrysler make a nice move there. And then he just loses the ball. And it's Cougars all over it. And back-to-back -back turnovers on possession by the Rattlers. Now, don't it? I'm not asking the question do you want to get the ball back i'm asking do you go into halftime saying game tied we get the ball to start the third quarter <laughs> and then we get it back exactly that's going to be a big time uh thing for the cougars they get the ball first shotgun formation and they'll look to throw oh, there he is. the pass looking ball downfield man wide open inside the 20 15 10 5 touchdown, touchdown 
Cougars. Oh, my God, Joe. You just made the call and said they might score. So, and let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this momentum has shifted. It is touchdown Cougars, 113 left. And it's now the Cougars 13, Rattlers 14, point after coming up, Joe. Back-to-back plays. The Cougar defense got the turnovers, and now the offense strikes with a deep ball and ties this ball game up with an extra point pending. Minute 13 to go in the half from the dead on Halloween night. Edinburgh North Cougars very much alive. Here Extra we, point coming up. Take us through it, Joe. Here we go, Joe. Once again, spurred on by the defense with a pick six and then the fumble recovery and now the six points from the offense and we are knotted up. Nothing decided here in Edinburgh and why not? <laughs> Two undefeated slamming it out here. Sherryland, Edinburgh North, tie ball game. Aaron, did the chills just get bigger? Oh, man, the <laughs> goosebumps are getting, getting bigger on the sideline. Fans are in the house. All right, here we go. Pablo, take us to it. What do you got? Boys, I got a little shout-out to my boy, CJ Carlos Cavazos. He's hanging out in San Antonio and listening on the ValleyCentral.com. Through my phone, he was talking a little smack about Edinburgh North when it was 14-0. I don't hear any smack talk now. It's 14-14. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. That's Paul Osbury and Aaron Sines joining us on the field. A shout-out going out to Mario Lopez and all the family, Chava and the gang also tuning in. We're going to go right now also, Leo Rodriguez. Leo Rodriguez uh, and family tuning in and hearing the game. And, Joe, what a game. Oh, my. It has turned into a ball game here tonight at Edinburgh North. It was real quiet on the sidelines over here on the home field. But the, the, the fans are here in droves, big bunches to watch this football game. And now they know why they came. Circle treat. Here we go. Cougars get on the board quickly. They answer 14 points within about a minute and 20 seconds. Exactly. A uh, pick six, a fumble recovery, deep six from the offense, and a quick strike. And suddenly we're tied at 14 apiece and donut i'm going to say it one more time the only thing negative on this is that there's still a minute 13 left <laughs> and don't think the sherryland rattlers don't have the capabilities of putting six more on the board again can the defense get another turnover <laughs> or will the rattlers just just bring up the next level here's a kickoff it's going to be to the right side field it out across the 10 and they'll go back to the middle of the field the 15 and the big tackle made it drop to the 15 yard line and fans this is suddenly all edinburgh north out of nowhere <laughs> It's going to be at the 16-yard line to share that. Joe, how about the field position? Now it's turned around. It's been all North Cougar field position, great field position. After the interception, of course, he took it all the way. Then the fumble, they only had 30-some uh, yards to go. It was a good uh, hit and go. He pumped. The defender bit on it, and he was all alone for a touchdown. So momentum, like you calling that, and Aaron called it. It's all Cougars now, ladies and gentlemen. 108 left. We'll see if the Rattlers get conservative and try to get this thing into halftime, or will they indeed try to go for points here? Game tied, 14 apiece, minute eight left in the half. Rattlers with a couple of timeouts left as well. Shotgun formation, they'll keep it back in the backfield for protection. Shift them in, fake the jet sweep, running play. Right side, a little room across the 25 in a hurry. That's a first down on a carry by Marco Gonzalez. Pablo! Move, Move those, those chains. chains. First and ten, pick up a first down there for the Chevy Line Rattler. So quickly they bring it out all the way down to the 27-yard line. It'll be first and 10, 101 left. Joe. Empty backfield once again for uh, Chrysler, the quarterback. Drops back, wants to pass. Right side completed out across the 30-yard line and then bumped out of bounds at the 33. That's short of first down yardage. But uh, a good play by the Rattlers to stop the clock with 48 seconds left here in the half. Yeah, it's a good yardage there, Joe, and the best thing, he stopped the clock. They didn't have to use the timeout. They still have two timeouts. They have both teams with two timeouts. So it's going to be a second and three, a pickup of seven yards at the 34-yard line. Right, so it keeps it back in the backfield once again, this time on second and three. Shifts him out of the backfield, looks, fakes the pass. Now he's being pressured. Penalty flag on the play. Delivers a pass deep downfield over those everybody. It's going to be holding, boys. It's going to be holding, so it's going to probably go back another 10 yards. And you're the defense, and if you're the fans, and, and, and if you – Watching this game, you can almost feel the momentum just has shifted dramatically to the Edinburgh Cougar side. Of course, here comes, we're going to wait. The call is, uh, they're asking Coach Gatsa what he wants. And apparently, uh, you know, with them having needing only three yards, uh, you don't want to give him that chance. He's probably going to take them back. We'll wait and see what he's going to do. But uh, here 50, comes. 50 call there. And uh, the call yeah. by the official on what they're going to do. They're going to take the penalty. Aaron Signs, I want you to take a look and tell me what you're seeing sideline across the way because what was a raucous, loud, boisterous crowd, it looks silent to me on the Sherryland sidelines. 
right. We'll get back to Aaron in a bit. Aaron, if you can move around, maybe we'll get you in a bit. But for right now, here we go, Joe. It's second and 13. Second and 13. Rattlers look to throw. Chrysler rolls out, buys some time, fires a pass incomplete. And they are right now out of sync. Yeah, and again, just 20 seconds. You need to be very careful here and not get give the Cougars a chance. We'll wait and see. It's going to be third and 13, and maybe Cougars, if they can hold them here, Joe, they're going to use their timeout for right now. I sent a little shout-out going out to Leo Rodriguez uh, from Edinburgh tuning in uh, with his family. A little shout-out going out to them. Celia Avila, George Avila, Mr. and Mrs. Donato C. Salinas Sr. They're enjoying the game. Hey, guys, enjoy the game. Let me tell you, thanks to Cash TV and ValleyCentral.com. On third and 13, Rattler's just going to run the football, and that goes nowhere as the defense makes a big play right there with 20 seconds to go. Now, Garza calls Whiskey. a timeout for the Cougars. They yeah. want the ball one more time. Now, Why not? Now, Joe, do you go for the block or you go set up for a, for a run back? Paul, what do you do right here as a coach? I'll tell you what, boys. The punter has a good, strong wind at his back, so I'm not going to put faith in the return. I'd go ahead and bring the house. And I do want a little shout-out all the way to College Station. Former Brewster Longhorn, Andres Guerra. Listen over there. He's a big, he's Aggie over there. He's over there listening to us in fellowship.com. Boys, I'd go for the block because the, the punter's been hitting it real good. And he's got the wind in his back, boys. Hey, Aaron, the momentum is it? I mean, it's just, I mean, can you feel it there? And can you hear anything there of what's going to happen here on this play? They have their blitz package in. Basically, what their linebackers that have been blitzing all night long, and they're getting coached up right here because they're going to go for it. They're going to try to go right up the middle, uh, like uh, Paul was saying over there. They're going to try to put a block on this one. And they're going to try to really make a statement. Their defense has already had big plays. So we'll watch the pressure coming up the middle. That's a report from the sideline. Aaron Sign standing as close to the coaching staff as allowed by UIL rules. I see tonight. him over there, boys. He looks like a player. <laughs> coming uh, at him. Up. <laughs> he, uh, I tell you what, if I was that close, I'd be dreaming of playing right now. Uh, and here we go. Punt formation for the Rattlers. Uh, standing back inside their 10-yard line. They're coming. Here comes the pressure up oh, the middle. He got it off very quickly. Away. Nice job there. They'll get away from it on the return. It takes a Rattler roll inside the 35-yard line. They'll blow it dead with five seconds left in the half. And in the span of a minute and a half, the Edinburgh North Cougar defense turned this game on its ear. What was a Rattler-dominated first half is suddenly going to be an Edinburgh North wave of momentum as they head into the halftime locker room. And, Paul, before we do that, don't forget it. We're going to stay on so you can talk to Coach Garza, and we'll get to you in a minute. Joe, what a game. I mean, it, it, it seemed like it was going to be a boring night and a, a, a bad Halloween for the Cougars, but all of a sudden, like you just called it, a minute and a half, they put 14 unanswered points. Quarterback sets up in a more or less victory formation here for the Cougars, and they will take a knee eventually. Let the play clock and the game clock run down to zeros, and we are at halftime with nothing decided in Edinburgh. 14-14 the score again. We're going to get Coach Garza as he races off the sideline. Paul Osbury's right down there. I'll throw it to you when I see the coach head your way. He's, he's still about 15 yards away, Paul. Uh, he's not he too tall. I see him. Here he comes. <laughs> right at him. Here we go. We'll send it down to Paul Osbury on the sideline. Here you go, Paul. Take it away. Thanks, boys. I got Coach Garza. Coach Roy Garza on the sideline. Coach, kind of a scary first quarter. Well, Defense come back to save you. How you feeling now? Well, I mean, it carries all year, but we just got to do something offensively. We came up with that big play, but uh, they, they, they're stopping us in our defense and making big plays for us. Coach, how do you feel about Coach Sines? He did make some really good adjustments kind of coming up the middle. Yeah. He started taking away that, that time well, in our quarterback. Yeah, we started to put, have to put a little pressure. We're sitting back and just making us apart, so they can get out of the line, and then we get our lead line, our D line just by a little bit. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time. Good luck to you, Roy. Back to you, boys. Paul Osbury with Coach Roy Garza heads into the halftime locker room. And Donut, yes, the defense made the big plays, but also don't get lost in the mix. That offense came up with that win big strike, which does say, hey, we, we can, do, can do some things too. Yeah, again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Cougars from Edinburgh North 14, the Sugarland Rattlers 14. We're at halftime. It's Aaron Sines, Paul Osbury, Joe Bowling, Donut Salinas. Enjoy the halftime show. We'll see you right back after the half.